many governments that came into power um, brandishing nuclear weapons and talking about waging nuclear war backed off when these massive protest campaigns developed. For example, in Germany during the 1980s, uh, there would be nationwide demonstrations that would draw roughly a million people. Or in the United States in June of 1982, um, the largest political demonstration ever in U.S. history took, took place, uh, condemning uh, the nuclear arms race. These displays of popular protest and the many polls that government officials uh, conducted during these years, times of popular protest, convinced government officials that they had to back off, that their nuclear ambitions uh, uh, could not be realized. There have been other times when the peace movement has been effective as well. We do know, for example, that the Vietnam War, um, in which the United States had an enormous military advantage, could have been won militarily by the United States. Uh, had the U.S. government used its full military power. The United States was using uh, massive military power, uh, utilized several times the, the uh, explosive power in its, in its bombing campaigns against uh, North Vietnam that it had used all during the Second World War. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it, it did not use nuclear weapons during that conflict, although that was suggested to U.S. officials. It did not um, uh, move further than it did, than the, the massive violence that it rained down on the people of, of Vietnam during that war, largely thanks to the fact that there was so much protest against it. In, in fact, government officials have even said, um, officials who, who were national security advisors at that time, for example, they have, have said uh, the U.S. government uh, simply couldn't use the bomb um, that was ruled out of the question thanks to the fact that the people of, of the United States and the world's public too uh, would simply not have accepted uh, the use of nuclear weapons. So here was one more case when uh, the peace movement was reasonably effective in um, defusing a terrible situation and, and finally leading the U.S. government to abandon the battlefield when in many ways it had done very well on the battlefield. Uh, the war was simply too costly, not only in terms of lives and resources, but uh, politically for U.S. politicians.